Welcome to Surf Slab. This is the Revelation 112 mod pack, episode 18. So, I want to get the disenchantment, um, what's it called? Uh, enchantment factory applicator extractor. This thing. I want to get this thing built. However, we do have Draconic Evolution, which means we do have the disenchanter. And this thing's actually, I want to say, Pretty easy to make, except I don't think we actually have any emeralds. Mm. Wow, we do. Okay. So, I'm gonna make both of them. Just because I don't know how this one works. So, we need plastic, we need to cook this. Yeah, I'm just gonna go use the, uh, the Uber oven. Make this so much faster. Especially given how much of this plastic I just made. I originally thought that you had to like take this and then craft it in a 2x2 to two two make a another layer of plastic and then you cook it, but no. Apparently we just throw this stuff straight into the oven here. Wow, oh, I actually got it all in there. And none of it none of it can be cooked in here. Really? Use vanilla. Oi, I don't want to. I can't put it in. <laughs> I'm sorry, am, am I missing a step here? I am, okay. <laughs> so there is a step of crafting this. Okay, let's, um, let's craft this into. Dry rubber. Ugh. Of course. Good enough. Okay, so can this stuff be smelted in here? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, I'll hang on to this and throw it back where it belongs. Alright, what else are we going to need? We're going to need machine frame. That shouldn't be a problem. There we go. There it is. We're going to need books. That could be a problem. Okay, so for this one we need um, applicator. Stop moving stuff. There it is. So we need two books for that, and then for the disenchanter we need three bookshelves. I, I have some books. I don't have a lot. I do have this cooking up... Uh, well, drying the chicken into leather. It is slow, and it's only created you know, seven so far. But since I really don't need, you know, it, there's all this, and then I've got more food in here, so I was like, I'm pretty good at food, so let's turn the chicken into something useful at least. And we only need. Oh, and nether bricks. I'll just take them all. Okay, so we should have everything we need to craft this, I think. I hope. Okay. Uh, okay. We need the machine frame of it? Yeah, so we gotta make those annoying gears. Or not. We have some. Sweet. Uh, I think I just need one. Just gonna stay in there. We need some glass. We're gonna need some iron. Aluminum. Iron, 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 iron. I don't have any in there. Iron? Not in there. There we go. <laughs> I got iron in here somewhere. Okay, so we need iron. What else do we need? That, that. Blood diamonds. Diamonds. One, two. Some gold. Uh, gold. 
iron. Let's get crafting. That. Get that. And we got that. Sweet. And then for the other one, we need... Oh, we need some wood. Wood. And where did it go? Yes. I am... This is really annoying. To make the bookshelf requires oak. Oh, no, I, I can do it with the other stuff. Oops. One, two, three. And what else do I need? Two emeralds. I need diamond. Got the emerald. Let's start cooking up the draconic dust. And I think that's pretty much it. Oh, we need two enchanted books. Huh. Okay, hopefully they don't have to be high-level books. I should check that. Because I don't have very much XP. I got, what, nine levels? Yeah, nine. Hmm. I mean, this thing is pretty good, right? Like, zombies come up here, and I did put a wooden spike in the bottom, so they'll take damage until they're at half a heart, and then I can just kill them. Enchanted. Yeah, okay, power one, so I'm gonna go with, yeah, it's okay. So we're gonna use the lowest level I can do. There we go, we have two enchanted books. Sweet. Are you done yet? Sure. Alright. So, Draconic. And we're missing an enchanting table. Uh, one, two. Uh oh, this could be a problem. Well, I am out of diamonds. <laughs> oh, that kind of sucks, actually. Uh, that kind of sucks because we need diamonds to do other things too. Um. Well, what I can do is fire this up for the time being. I do have a little bit more room in here to for some ores to go in. And just, I guess, hopefully I'll get a diamond? I don't have <laughs> Okay, so this thing here, um, let's just set it down here. I know it takes power. So energy, okay. book input, enchanted item input, book output. Okay, so we put books in that, put our item in there, which I'll have to grab. So it looks like it just takes some extra power. Definitely do that. The only problem is I have no idea where I put those enchanted items. So, Okay, um, I don't have any way to transmit power yet. Wait, do we have the, um, flux plugs or whatever they're called? Yes, yes we do. Sends power, receives power, okay. Let's see if we can do these. We need flux, obsidian, okay, we got some obsidian. Eyes of Ender, we can, I think we can manage that. Let's grab some Eyes of Ender. I'm just going to plug. Good enough. Okay, so we need flux block. Do I have any flux? Absorption hopper, sky stone. I could have sworn I saw some in here earlier. I guess not. Okay, how do I make it? Obtain by throwing redstone into fire or lava. Hmm. Okay. We have flint and steel. I'm not a fan of these these particular crafting mechanics. 
Yeah. Something about throwing resources into a fire to, or into lava just. Hmm. You know, I, I, it makes me uncomfortable. It's wrong. That's how you get rid of items. You throw them into lava, not crap with them. Okay, what do we need? We need obsidian flux. I have some obsidian. Ooh, how many eyes? I don't have a whole lot of pearls. Okay, so we need one block. I'm gonna guess it's per. Flux. Oh, okay, let's. I guess that's as close as I can get. So the flux point, which receives power, just needs redstone. Okay, good. So we need four, four, and four. So we need three batches. Okay. That's not too bad. Three eyes of Ender. Twelve of those. One of those. One of those. Oops. I need to uh, this one. Look at that. I don't even have to craft it. Must have hit a beehive area down there somewhere. Okay, so you send power, so you're the one I'm going to need over here. Um, I guess I can do that. Here's my wrench, and can I... No. Ooh, I don't like that. Oh. Can I configure it in here somewhere? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so we're gonna make a network. We're gonna call it my network. I have no idea how to use this system or what it does or anything. Okay, so it's green. So we're gonna go on this side and we're gonna see what happens. Because I'd like to keep the uh, disenchanter near the rest of the enchanting equipment. Throw that up there. Flux in there. So if I do that, and set that to. Okay, it works! Look at that! Sweet. Okay, um, I think the items. Yes, there we go. Ooh, I don't know if that's gonna survive. See, that's the other thing. This thing is just gonna pick off random enchantments. I don't know if it's going to damage it or not. You... this one will probably survive, so we'll try the pants first. So books go there, enchanted item goes there. Okay, so it doesn't damage it at all. Just... pulls it off. That is cool. That is great. I mean, it's kind of annoying that I have to pull it out and put it back in, but... Whatever. Sweet. I have a couple unbreaking books now. Unbreaking. Oh, fire protection. Protection 3, I guess. Unbreaking. And knockback. Don't need that. Projectile. Don't need that. Bye bye. It's nice knowing you. Oh. Uh, <laughs> gold armor. I don't need that. I <laughs> okay, so that works nicely, and what I'll do is when we get a, another diamond so that we can actually make the uh, <clears throat> draconic one, I think it also requires power, so I'll just stick it over on the side there. Actually, I might move that over one so that everything is balanced a bit more, but eh, cross each bridge as I get there. We've still got to get the diamond first. It is pretty to watch this working. Although, I'm almost tempted to set up another crusher because it doesn't keep up very well. <laughs> is this thing... Yeah, okay, it's working. So have we got another diamond? Nope. Denied. Alright, so what we do is flux can go in here, that can go in there. Let's just clean up the inventory a little bit here. So we need that, we need that. Iron. Glass wood, flux, uh, shells we're going to need. I don't care about this or this. 
This can go away. Where did I pick up cooked chicken from? Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. That. Okay. So, the other thing is, we got the applied energists, uh, because, uh, applied energists, there we go. And actually what I can do is I have one in here. Save. For now, I'll just stick this stuff over here so that I remember that it's important. And this, my little garbage chute for now. And I, I don't know where I got the chicken from. <laughs> okay, so I have made up some of the uh, chips that we need. Again, not very many diamonds because, well, I don't have very many diamonds. So what I want is, first and foremost, I want to get storage because hunting around through chests and storage crates is, it's not great. Right. I mean, this is, eh, it's not keeping up very well. So I'm thinking if we start with an ME drive, so we need some iron, which is actually this one, and we're going to need some of that flux. Cable. There it is. And I'd like to get a terminal, a crafting terminal. I do like the look of these crafting terminals. Uh, any crafting terminal. Like they're flat panels, which is, I don't know, they just look cool. Okay, so we need quartz, flux ducts, and a. Okay, so I'm gonna have to make up some uh, flux. I don't think I have it. Oh, I do have some. Uh, just take those and grind them up, I guess. Okay, so we need that. Where'd it go? Crafting terminal. So we need quartz, flux, and this. Oh, this requires another. Oh, just another quartz. Okay, that's not a problem. Um, actually, I'll just take those. Okay. Let's start with a terminal. There we go. There it is. Two of those. And two of those. And oops. There it is. Okay, so I need glowstone, redstone, and quartz glass. That. So redstone, glowstone, and Quartz blast. I had a little bit of it, thankfully. Arc illuminated. Cool. And then I need to craft an ME terminal. And I need a crafting grid, which requires some wood. One, two, three, and one. Thankfully, I don't have to have all the same. I can just do that. Oop. And craft. Okay, so I have a crafting terminal. Excellent. Um, oh yeah, the, the drive, right? That, that's helpful. <laughs> okay, so we got a drive. I don't know if I want to go for 64Ks. Huh. Alright, because this system here isn't like refined storage. This one is a type system as well. So I can hold, you know, 1024 bytes with 63 types. The thing is, this is going to have a large amount of resources. Uh, gold, iron, redstone, copper. But I'm also going to have a lot of little stuff that... You know, there's like five fence pieces or whatever. <laughs> uh, okay, well... Hold on. Uh, where is it? I mean, so that's just redstone. So that's, that's that's nothing. And you are used to craft the next tier. All right. Well, let's just do this then. Um, I'm going to need redstone. 
What's over here? Where are they? That's the 64 storage. Those are space ones. Where are the regular ones? Oh, they're mixed in. Uh -huh. Love it. So I need quartz, redstone, and gold processors. I don't have a lot of quartz either. Hmm. Alright, so what I'm going to do is just see how many I can make. And those... What am I running out of? Quartz glass! Okay. Definitely gotta make more of that. So, recipe for quartz glass is... That's not the recipe I'm looking for. There it is. So it's just crushed quartz and glass. Definitely need a lot of quartz in this, eh? Do I have some in here, maybe? Nope. Nope. Deny all around. Well, I guess I'll just use this stuff then. Um, is it? Oh, I hate that. I should go in the options and disable it, but where is it? Controls and sort. There it is. Just. That. So I'm constantly hitting R for the recipe and it's sorting the inventory as well. It's pulling up the wrong thing. It's very annoying. Okay, so we've got glass cooking. Pretty sure I had some here. It's hardened. I have some. Use this up, I guess. So the recipe. Yeah. And then. Need these, so I can now make 16, which is decent, and I can make five of those, which means I can make one 64k. <laughs> uh, don't want to go that route. I mean, that's one 64k, but two 16 storages as well. Yeah, let's let's do that. So now, what do I need for the housing? Um, iron. One, two, three. Okay. So that's what I'll do. Is I'll do 164 and then two 16s. Should get plenty of storage for the immediate. I am going to need more, <laughs> obviously. But for the immediate, I think I can make do with this. So I'm going to do is put that up there, those in there, and then these terminals can't just be attached to any old thing, they actually have to be attached to cabling. So i got to do that, and there we go. So now I should be good to just, oh, this would be so great, just dump everything in there. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Alright, so that way, I don't need this ore right now, this way. Can't eat the steak, Palmer. Hmm. I guess. I guess we can make an input. Or, uh, input. Import. Find it. Import bus. There we go. Fluid. Regular one. What do we need? We need a sticky piston. And. I'm pretty sure we can get a sticky piston. So we need a piece of iron. A piece of redstone. Three pieces of wood. Or just a piston and a piece of slime. Let's, let's do it that way. I think it'll be quicker. Okay, so we got our sticky piston. Come on. There we go. And we need one of those, which are in the crafting the thing over there. And we're going to need a couple pieces of iron, so I'll just grab that. Excellent, excellent. Import. Sweet. We can grab our cable. What I can do is... Now this isn't going to be permanent. I'm not going to leave the cabling like this. No way, no how. But for the moment, it can just do that. 
And I did that right. Yeah. Okay, you can see it pulling out some gold. So it's not exactly quick. So let's see if we can do a um, capacity upgrade. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's try for that. I think that's the capacity upgrade we need. That's two basic cards, and then we need two of those. Because it looks like it says Import export bus two. So I'm gonna. Does that just? Uh, it just increases the filter size. That's not what I want. I wanted it to pull out like a stack at a time. Formation. Let's we do speed upgrades. Or not, because diamonds. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, okay, whatever, it's, it's more than enough to keep up to the, the output of our, uh, arc furnace, so good enough. The other thing I could do would be to hook up to all this and import that into the system as well. Um, I might do that off camera. I think I will. Because what I'll do is I'll just swap out the, the chest over here. Right? Um, once this is emptied out, I'll just break it, take the gold one, put it over here. That way it can still output, and then it'll start inputting. And I'll just swap chests around until all those are gone. And as for this, I well, next episode we'll reconfigure this and make it work better. So instead of having this uh, dropping filter thing here, we will have a probably put an import bus, put a like a storage crate above the quarry, and then just have an import bus into the system, and then we can just export out to the arc furnace and the the uh, crusher. Sorry, my mind just like went on a break there for a sec, which is kind of a shame because I really I like the look of the conveyors. You know, you see the items moving around, but there's just not really much in the way of a filtering option for it, so. Not to mention getting the items out, like, this thing is constantly backstuffed, right? The quarry is just, it's too fast, right? So, I gotta find a better way of dealing with it. What I might do is have it input into the AE system, export, Items that need to be crushed into the crusher. Items that need to be smelted directly, like we have some like draconic, uh, I think it's the quartz is smelted. There's a few other ores over here that are just smelted. They're not actually crushed. I'll have those imported into here. And then when the crusher is done with them, we'll have the conveyors transfer them over to this. I think that's probably how I'll wind up doing the system. At any rate, I'm going to call it an episode here. As always, I thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one.